You're probably wondering how I'm going to tie energy medicine into a real estate video channel. But the fact is, is that um, in the average real estate transaction, the, the transaction is pretty easy. But by the time the deal gets done, there's probably 10 people that really need some sort of healing. And because uh, there's a lot of stress going on. Uh, I have with me here a Shina with great heart healing. And just something out of her website just caught my eye. Expect to experience an immediate sense of peace, a warm and caring energy that will begin to move through your body and release the areas of stuckness and pain. Her clients have reported feeling a, a sense of bliss, deep relaxation, well-being, hope, and joy, sometimes for the first time in years. This is the life force energy beginning to move through the body to restore and heal. Additionally, this energy continues well after the session is over, healing and transforming your body and all aspects of life. And I think that includes real estate. <laughs> it certainly does. So a lot of my clients are stressed out, and particularly um, this one guy I know, barely got out of bed, he's so stressed out. Um, what can you do for him? Well, the beauty of energy medicine is it works directly on the emotions. I mean, it's going to address his physical body, uh, mental body, and emotional body. Those are like subtle bodies within your whole energy field. So a lot of times when someone's experiencing that much stress, they're also having physical symptoms. So what energy medicine is going to do is it'll immediately help him to just release the um, core and the cause of what what is causing the tension. Like sometimes there are beliefs and just um, habits of emotion. So it works on that level as well, where it's gently washing away the underlying foundational beliefs. But, you know, when people have a lot of tension and anxiety, it's a lot of really kind of dense, stuck energy that gets um, Both stuck. physically and emotionally. And, yes. Um, so, because physically he's actually taking pain pills and smoking marijuana. Yeah. The stress, which, which makes mm -hmm. his decisions a little sloppy. Right. Kind of hard to deal with, but... Uh, yeah, and so that's why with energy medicine, it can help relieve that anxiety, that stress, and then also it because it's relieving that, it brings people to a more balanced state so that they make better decisions and they have a clarity of mind. Um, and it's, so it's totally, it's called energy medicine, but it's no pharmaceuticals, it's totally drug-free, and the good thing is there's no side effects. Well, it kind of jumps into the next question of, of what makes you different. I mean, there's probably as many energy healers as there are realtors in this county, probably for a good reason, because we probably cause a, give city a lot of cause, a lot of business, people need you. So what makes you different from, like, all the other healers? I mean, I, I, I know because I've, I've met you and, and know you and, and I'm impressed or you wouldn't be here. So but go ahead and brag. This is your time to shine. <laughs> well, um, one thing is, I just recently moved here from Kauai, and I lived there for over 20 years. And Kauai has a very special healing energy, a very specific vibration, and um, I carry that vibration, and I use that vibration in my healing work. And I've also, I've traveled around the world, and I've studied a lot uh, from different people, different energy healing modalities. And so I've combined everything I've learned and all my experience of working with people over the years so that um, I'm giving, I'm, what I'm doing is directly related to what's happening with the person to give them the maximum results. Have you gone to school, education, all that such, to training? I mean, other than like a weekend warrior studying <laughs> yoga or something and is now a yoga master? Um, yes, I have. Well, originally I studied at the University of Minnesota studying Chinese. Chinese was my major, the language, um, the history, the religion, every, everything about it. And I lived in China for a year and in Hong Kong for six months. And I studied with a Chinese master. 
that was my very first introduction to energy healing. And then I've gone on to get different Reiki empowerments. Um, there's a couple of different modalities that I'm a certified practitioner in. One's called Emergence Care, and the other one is Quantum Touch. And with Quantum Touch, uh, not only am I a practitioner, but I'm also an instructor. So I teach workshops here in the North okay, Bay area. Explain the Quantum Touch. How, you know, kind of, I, I've heard of quantum physics and such like that, but quantum seems like a, a, a scientific term. Yeah, well, energy medicine is very scientific. It's on the leading edge. It is the energy, uh, it's the medicine of the future. Um, and it's out there right now. You can see it more and more. The more you delve into quantum physics, um, the more energy medicine will make sense to you. Because uh, it's working at the quantum level. And that's why, you know, because, you know, when someone comes to me, they're like, what can you help me with? And, I'm, and I tell them it accelerates the healing of any condition. And it's like, whoa, that's a pretty big thing. How well, is that possible? All on everything. You know, mm -hmm. what you were saying the other day, the, the hip bones are connected to the leg bone and such right. like that, so it all works up. It does, and then also at the quantum level, um, there is no time, there is no space, and intention and consciousness affects uh, particles at that level, and you'll see that in the experiments that the quantum physicists are doing. And most people don't know, uh, you know, most lay people aren't well versed in in the leading edge of quantum physics and what's really happening. So energy medicine falls right in there. That's why just a light touch anywhere in your body or even I work on people in Kauai, in Minnesota, around the country, and it works remotely because time and space are relative. It doesn't really matter and because it's working in the quantum field where, where that doesn't matter. What are, what are some other benefits that uh, other people, other than stressed out real estate clients, <laughs> course that is everybody, pretty much. Uh, but uh, what, uh, in general, other other benefits can people get out of it that you've experienced? So definitely anything emotional. Like I've worked with people who have panic attacks, who have insomnia due to anxiety, um, and then all those emotional things usually tend to have physical symptoms. So I've worked with people with almost any kind of physical symptom, um, different digestive issues, cancer, tumors, um, migraines, structural You're get run out of the alignment. That stuff. I know. Maybe we can't get this here. They're going to become hunting for you. Yeah, and a lot of people come to me who. Um, Traditional medicine doesn't work for them. Conventional medicine, there is no cure for what's happening. They can't. They don't get any relief. All they get are um, pain um, meds. The, the, the term cure is just basically a big fraud, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, especially through drugs. I mean, like antibiotics means anti means against, biotic means life. So to, to, con to help your health, you take something that kills life. I mean, I, I don't think that's the right path. Personally, yeah, just, mm -hmm. just based on their own description, it's kind of like an ironic slap in the face. That's what they give us. Do you want to do you want to describe how a typical session goes? Okay. So usually start by talking to my client, see what's happening for them, like what's happening in their life, and everybody's a little different. They'll, some people will tell me just all physical things. Other people they'll be saying, you know, what's happening in their relationships and at work. Because, you know, when this um, is uh, improving your emotions and you're feeling grounded and centered and confident and peaceful, then that goes out and it impacts your entire life. It improves all your relationships, how you can work, things like that. So some people may come and say, I'm having this really hard time with this person at work. And we can work on that because that's causing a lot of stress, tension, you know, maybe headaches and different pain in the body. Um, I generally start with somebody's head. I put my hands on their head and immediately their brain waves begin to change and they go into uh, a relaxed state that if you have biofeedback you can measure that. Um, 
usually wherever there's pain or discomfort in the body, I put my hands there, but it doesn't have to be a hands-on modality. I can actually have my hands on someone's head and direct the energy anywhere in their body. Because some places it's just, you can't really touch some places. It's sensitive areas um, or the pain is too great. And so then also wherever I feel um, like stuck energy in the body. Now how, would, how would you know that there's stuck energy? It's just something that I can feel and perceive. Like a nod or just soreness or heat or something? Or yeah, it's, it's more of an intuitive thing or, you know, I, can, I feel energy with my hands. Because uh, usually the, the core of any kind of physical ailment is first on the energy side and there's stuck energy. Because we all have an energy body and with meridians and chakras and you see that with acupuncture a lot, right, which is yeah. much more mainstream now. They map out all the meridians where the energy flows in the body and anytime any place gets stuck, then you're going to have some kind of physical problem there. So it can help just release well, that. Well, it's kind of any type of ancient uh, medical healing study, Tai Chi, yoga, it's mm -hmm. all, all about the energy flow and mm -hmm. such like that. Balancing it. Balance, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? And usually I end with people's feet because it brings them totally back, really grounded, into, and the, the feet are the negative pole of the body, and a lot of negative energy can just release out of the feet, so it's a good place to end the session. I know they can find more about you at greathearthealing.com. Where are some other places they can uh, get information about you or your phone number, or how, you would, how would they contact you? My phone number and email is on my website. Um, also, uh, there's a Yelp account out there. You can get some information and read some reviews. Well, I'll tell you, if, if you buy or sell a house for me, I'll send you to her at my expense during the escrow, just, just to save me a stress. <laughs> so I don't become a patient. I already own any, but anyway. Um, so, well, thanks for watching.